Welcome to Barcelona. I'm Dan Williams, the human performance coach at Aston Martin. Join me on my Insider episode. Hi, my name's Dan Williams and I'm the human performance coach here at Aston Martin Formula One team. I've been here for the last six years and my role is to look after the well-being of the team, which includes fitness, diet and injury treatments. And when we're travelling on the road to each event, I'm here with the team, all of the team, the race team, supporting all the travelling staff with any well-being issues that they may have. So we're looking at things like diet, nutrition, uh, hydration, uh, mental health, and also conditioning. So today is Thursday, but we arrived yesterday, which was Wednesday, and we had a setup day. That's a good opportunity for me to catch up with the guys before the weekend gets really busy. It gives me the opportunity to do some treatments on those guys who may have come back from the last race with a few niggles. As we progress through the race weekend, it gets a little bit tougher for the guys, because on Thursday today, we start the pit stop practice. So it becomes a bit more specific with the warm ups, the hydration, so at the start of the week, I issue the team with a wellness passport. This details a race weekend in terms of health and well-being. So the activities that we have planned, the event that we're going to. A lot of the guys like to run the track, so I give some information about the track distance so they can run that. Okay, so I've just finished the warm up with the guys, the pit stop crew. Um, it's an important part of their day because the pit stops are very explosive and a lot of muscle groups working, particularly the gunmen with their forearms and the guys putting the wheel on and the wheel off. There's a lot of force going through their lower back and their legs. So it's important that we warm these muscles up so they work more efficiently and we prevent injuries at the end of the day. We'll do the warm up repeatedly before every pit stop practice uh, over the course of the whole of the race weekend. Uh, that way the guys are always ready for action and can work on the pit stops being as fast as possible. So we go for a range of different warm-up exercises. We start with the upper body and then we work through the lower body, particularly the back. We do a lot of rotation work on the lower back, getting those larger muscle groups ready. For the gunman we have a more specific drill. We're currently using flex bars which um, target the muscle groups that we're working on, particularly preventing tennis and golfer's elbow, which has been a problem in the past. 
The final part of the warm-up, we're using tennis balls and we just work on some reaction drills just to focus their hand-to-eye coordination before they go into the pit stop itself. This just speeds up their reactions and helps them achieve the two-second pit stops that we're looking for in a typical pit stop practice. The drivers aren't here, so we manually push the car into the pit box and the pit crew members will complete their pit stop practice aiming for a two-second pit stop. got Joel in today who's one of our team members and uh, I'm just doing a bit of a recovery treatment session because he's done some training as well so I need to keep him in good shape for the race weekend so treating the calves is one of the more uncomfortable massages Why is that? it's just if they're quite tight can just feel a bit more intense than other muscle groups. So this is the treatment room that we have on all the European races. On the top floor of one of the trucks, it's, um, it's a great facility to have because it's private, it's somewhere the mechanics and team members can come have a treatment and uh, provides a good space for us to work in. Just continue with the stretching and uh, I can do it again for you tomorrow. Cool. Alright, thanks Joel. Cheers, I'll see you later. Cheers. Okay, so it's the start of uh, FB2. It's a hot afternoon, um, it's currently about 28 degrees, so I'm just in the garage looking after the guys during the session. Some of them might need some help with their hydration or just some taping for an injury, etc. So I'm always on hand looking around the garage, just making sure that if they need anything, I'm here. I've been in Formula One now, or most professional motorsport, for about 20 years. I qualified as a sports scientist at university and then went on and did various qualifications sports massage therapy, injury management clinics, sports psychology, etc. And at the moment, we come up to about 161 Grand Prix, so I'd have to check that, but roughly that's what it is. A lot of my time is spent working with drivers originally and then diversified into working with the team as well. And now I'm fully invested with the team here. Okay, so that's the end of FP2. We've just got the checkered flag. It's going to be a busy evening for the team, preparing the car for tomorrow. They'll be here till about 11 o'clock this evening. It's also a time when my work runs start this evening. As team members will be coming in and out. I'm often quite busy on a Friday evening. We did lots of treatments because it's been such an intense day.
Good morning, it's Saturday. We're going to head down to the beach this morning and do some training with the team members. It's something we try and do when we're away at each race weekend, just to help offer some extra conditioning while we're away. So we're going to be doing some boxing and some skipping. Um, the weather's great over here, so it's a great opportunity to get outside. You see lots of people training, even though it's early in the morning. The sun's out, so we get everybody moving and feeling fit. So we had a long day yesterday. So it's a good way to wake up this morning. Start with some light exercise to get the cardiovascular system working, get the muscles working. It's going to be about 30 minutes of exercise. We're going to do some boxing drills, some skipping and some toe taps in between, okay? So it's predominantly about cardiovascular exercise this morning, okay? I'm going to pair you up. So just do some tricep stretches for me first. This one, because we're going to be using the arms a lot. That's it. And then you can come over and grab your gloves. We'll do a minute and then you've got to swap over. So you guys will be toe tapping next and you guys will be skipping. Okay, so we've just started getting the, the heart rate up with the team members. We've still got some time left. So I'll see you back at the track. Qualifying day, burning question is, cereal first or milk first? I think either works. Really? I do yes. cereal first, cereal, yeah. but does milk first? Well, it depends. Really? If you have plenty of experience to put milk first. Is that a thing? But then you could like over flood it and then you put in the cereal. Yeah, but you get you get good at it. It's great to be here. I think it's going to be a hot day for all of us, but I'm looking forward to it. Brilliant. Okay, so we're about 30 minutes away now from qualifying. Um, I've done some treatments this morning with the crew members, which has been great. So they're all ready to go. I'm gonna go into the garage shortly and uh, make sure that everybody's continuing to drink because hydration is a massive factor here and the crew members need to stay hydrated. It's 33 degrees today, so it's very hot. Let's go.
Hi, okay, so it's uh, Sunday today. This morning I've been quite busy doing a lot of treatments on the team members. Um, this is just getting them ready for the race uh, this afternoon. So there's a lot of treatments, soft tissue treatments and uh, some taping just to sort out some small niggles. So the temperature's really ramped up now, so I'm a bit conscious that it's gonna be very warm this afternoon during the race. So shortly I will go back into the garage and I'll start making the preparations for the hydration for the team members so that when they come back, after setting the cars up on the grid, there'll be a drink waiting for them. And I can just monitor their hydration throughout the course of the race. Before that, I'll be in the garage because the tension started to increase a little bit now. People are starting to get a little bit nervous. So I'll just be floating around in the garage if anybody needs anything on one hand to help them out. See you shortly. Okay, so that's the end of the Spanish Grand Prix and now you can see that everybody is starting to pack up. We're going to go to Monaco tomorrow and we arrive late afternoon and we start preparing for the Monaco Grand Prix. With Monaco being the second race of a double header, it's important that I'm there to continue to support the team. So I'll make sure that I'll be looking after them in terms of making sure they continue to eat the right things, stay hydrated, I'll manage their injuries and most importantly look after their mental health. So we're ready to go for the race weekend in Monaco on Sunday. That's it from me in Barcelona. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Insider. I'm off to Monaco now and hopefully I'll see you again soon.